Seventh grade, unit seven, lesson five. Using equations to solve for unknown angles. Illustrative mathematics. Problem number one. Segments AB, DC, and EC intersect at point C. Angle DCE measures 148 degrees. Find the value of X. The sum of these three angles will equal 180 degrees. So X plus 148 degrees plus x will equal 180 degrees. x degrees plus x degrees plus 148 degrees equals 180 degrees. That's the same as 2x degrees plus 148 degrees equals 180 degrees. To solve for x, we'll subtract 148 from both sides of the equal sign. That leaves us with 2x degrees equals 32. The next step is we need to divide both sides by 2. And that leaves us with 1x degrees or x equals 16 degrees. So x equals 16 degrees. Problem number 2. Line L is perpendicular to line M. Find the value of x and w. w degrees plus 138 degrees equals 180 degrees. We need to subtract 138 from both sides of the equal sign. 138 minus 138 is 0. So on the left side of the equal sign, we're left with W. And on the right hand side of the equal sign, we're left with 42 degrees. So we know that W is 42 degrees. Now we need to find the value for X. 19 degrees plus X degrees plus W, or plus 42 degrees, will equal 90 degrees. To solve for X, we need to collect like terms. 19 plus 42 equals 61. Next, we can subtract 61 from both sides of the equal sign, and we have X equals 29. X is 29 degrees. Problem number three. If you knew that two angles were complementary, and we're given the measure of one of those angles, would you be able to find the measure of the other angle? Explain your reasoning. Yes. If two angles are complementary, it means that the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. If we are given the measure of one of the angles, we can find the measure of the other angle by subtracting the given measure from 90 degrees. Problem number four from 7th grade unit 6 lesson 15. For each inequality, decide whether the solution is represented by x is less than 4.5 or x is greater than 4.5. A. We need to multiply negative 6 times everything inside the parentheses. Negative 6 times x and negative 6 times negative 0.5. On the left side of the inequality, we still have negative 24. But on the right side of the inequality, we now have negative 6x plus 3. The next step, we need to subtract 3 from both sides of the inequality sign. Negative 24 minus 3 is negative 27. And on the right-hand side, we're left with negative 6x. Next, we need to divide both terms by a negative 6. Since we're dividing by a negative, that means we need to switch the inequality sign. Negative 27 divided by negative 6 is a positive 4.5. And negative 6x divided by negative 6 is positive 1x, or x. This means that x is greater than 4.5. B. The first thing we need to do is subtract 6 from both sides of the inequality sign. That leaves us with negative 8x is greater than negative 36. Next, we need to divide both sides by negative 8. Since we're dividing by a negative, we need to switch the inequality sign. x is less than 4.5. c. Just like a, we need to use the distributive property. Negative 2 times everything inside the parentheses. On the right-hand side of the inequality, we still have negative 15.4, and on the left side of the inequality, we have negative 2 times 3.2, and we have negative 2 times x. Plus a negative 2 times 3.2 is plus a negative 6.4.
The next step, we need to add 6.4 to both sides of the inequality sign. That leaves us with negative 2x on the left side of the inequality sign and negative 9 on the right hand side of the inequality sign. The last step, we need to divide both sides by negative 2. Since we're dividing by a negative, we need to switch the inequality sign. x is greater than 4.5. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit four, lesson two. A runner ran two thirds of a five kilometer race in 21 minutes. They ran the entire race at a constant speed. A, how long did it take to run the entire race? Imagine that this circle represents the entire race and the race is five kilometers. If you divide the race into thirds, three-thirds would represent the whole race. The information tells us that two-thirds of the race has been completed and it took 21 minutes. If two-thirds equals 21 minutes, then one-third would be half of 21. 21 divided by 2 is 10.5, so each third is worth 10.5. When the whole race is completed, that means that all three-thirds of the race would be completed. So we can multiply 3 times 10.5. The entire race would take 31.5 minutes. B. How many minutes did it take to run 1 kilometer? 31.5 minutes divided by 5 kilometers equals 6.3. That means it would take 6.3 minutes to run 1 kilometer at this constant speed. Problem number six from seventh grade unit six lesson 12. Jada, Elena, and Lynn walked a total of 37 miles last week. Jada walked four more miles than Elena and Lynn walked two more miles than Jada. The diagram represents this situation. To find the number of miles that they each walked, explain or show your reasoning. M plus m plus m plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 equals 37. Now that we've started to write an equation, let's collect like terms. 3m plus 10 equals 37. To solve for m, we got to get it by itself. So let's subtract 10 from both sides of the equal sign. That leaves us with 3m equals 27. To turn that 3m into just 1m, we need to divide both sides by 3. 3m divided by 3 and 27 divided by 3. That leaves us with 1m or m equals 9. Since Elena walked m miles, that means that Elena walked 9 miles. Jada walked m plus 4, which is 9 plus 4, or 13 miles. Lynn walked m plus 4 plus 2, or 9 plus 6, which is 15 miles. Problem number 7, from 7th grade, Unit 6, Lesson 19. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to negative 36x plus 54y minus 90. Expression A. Use the distributive property and multiply negative 9 times 4x and multiply negative 9 times negative 6y and multiply negative 9 times negative 10. The expression simplifies to negative 36x plus 54y plus 90 instead of minus 90. So don't select A. B. After using the distributive property and multiplying negative 18 times all three terms, this expression is equal to negative 36x plus 54y minus 90. So do select B. C. After multiplying all three terms by negative 6, expression C is equivalent to negative 36x minus 54y plus 90. So do not select C. D. After multiplying 18 times all three terms inside the parentheses, expression D has a value of negative 36x plus 54y minus 90. So you can select D. E. 
After multiplying negative 2 times all three terms inside the parentheses, expression E has a value of negative 36x plus 54y minus 90. So you can select expression E. After multiplying a 2 times all three terms inside the parentheses, expression F has a value of negative 36x plus 108y minus 180. So do not select expression F. Now is a good time to subscribe if you haven't already. You can watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.